Okay guys, so what we're going to do here now is to let me demo how to create our half other. So you can see in half other what we're going to use is an XOR gate and an AND gate. So before we're going to get these two ICs, our integrated circuit, let me go to our Tinkercad. So see that you are logged on to your Tinkercad to which we're just going to get a breadboard so we're going to have a bigger breadboard so this is this one bear in mind that this is the positive terminal negative terminal same to here so before we start let's connect already our positive terminals Red for positive terminals. You could right click on this. Okay. Just for you to see that it is not connected on other connections. And these are for um, this is now for our negative terminals. Another one is for us to have our power. So we're going to get our power supply. So this is for positive and this is now for negative. Let me just change this into red. And lock for the negative. So if we're going to check now the power, it should be just double click on the image, five volts now for our power supply with the current of also 5 volts now as you can see here what we're going to use is XOR gate and AND gate so we're just going to type on the search uh, XOR gate so this will prompt us quad XOR gate it becomes quad because we have 4 XOR gate so how do you know which one is the 4 if you over now in the pins you see here input 1a input 1b input output 1 meaning this is connected into one xor gate if you move now here in pin 3 we have 2a so this is the second xor gate the third xor gate and the fourth xor gate okay so this is the power so we're just connect it here this will now be black. So if we now for the AND gate, I'm just going to type AND. Same thing. As you can see here. So this is for positive and the negative. So this is red. So now we can block. Okay, so we have now our XOR gate and our AND gate. So you can see here, XOR gate, AND gate. Now let's identify what uh, gates are we going to use. So on this demo, we're going to use this one. The first XOR gate and the first X or uh, AND gate okay and then we're going to use slide switch so why we're going to why are we going to use the slide switch because in slide switch automatically yeah, the location now of the switch declares continuity for example on this if the slide switch is turned on the left means depending now this have continuity okay so on the middle is what we call common common means whatever is the connection or the status of our, your slide switch it is connected to either terminal 2 or terminal 1 that's why it's called common so in common 
will be the one to be connected to our inputs okay, here and another slide switch uh, let me just put it here so this will be our B change let me just change the color okay yellow for the B and then orange now for input i for the a so how do we know that this is a or this is b just declare this a and b you just put that the first slide switch is our a and the second slide switch is our b so looking on our let me just put it like here so this easier for us now this is now our connections so a is now equal to your common okay and then b will now be this common so what we did here is we connected we connected your a here to this one okay and for b this one okay so what the next thing now is to connect this b to connections and your a so in order for us to do that is just Remember, this is our A. We're just going to connect it here. We're just going to change that also to orange. And the connection for the input B, that will now be yellow. So we already satisfied inputs going now to this portion. But before we proceed, check on this. We need to have connections to our power source let's just put that on the left side now of the switch is our 5 volts or equal to 1 in binary if we follow now our truth table this will now become our negative same so here let's put it here So already satisfied with this portion now we're going to finish output so in order for us to put output here let me just zoom in is we need to have now our resistor so why do we need resistor resistor now is here for us to protect our led so we're going to use two LEDs. Resistors are used to protect our LED. So LEDs are used now for us to know if it is on or off. Let's just use this one. Maybe you're wondering what happened. So I just click Control C, Control V. We need to have it. Let me connect it here so to complete the continue now so if you check output now should be connected into one LED sum here this should connect the output should connect to our resistor and to an LED same through it here so if we try now this portion I connect this here to make the continuity and the output of your AND gate 
on this guy. So let me just change the color for emphasis. I'll be using blue now for the and and green for our for our cat. So we start because it's initialized that is one so let me just put it in zero zero so remember our our truth table this is zero zero all leds are off zero one as you can see here zero one sum is one we have one zero sum is also one and if you have one one sum is zero okay you so this is our demo how to create our half other. Thank you and good day.